Hello Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Cap Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. So my fellow Caps, I am a Cap Sun. I haven't been getting love from you guys, my fellow Caps, so make sure if you're new to my channel, you subscribe, you like, you comment, you interact with my video. I really appreciate it. Um, this kind of looks like a pick a card setup, but I just wanted to set these three car these three decks here. I may use some others, but I just got two of these. I just ordered them. So this is the um, Sacred Journey Oracle, and this is the Enchanted um, Map Oracle. So let's see what's going on with my fellow caps. I'm going to start off with the Golden Tarot here. All right. So how have you guys been doing? This is going to be... A love reading but we'll also tap into some other energies i'm going to start off with one card if i get too many reversals i'm not going to take them so what is the overall energy for capricorns in my mind i'm hearing a nine of swords i don't know why but you guys if you don't believe my abilities i that is crazy okay because i'm not actually i have um little disclosure here i have extreme anxiety um disorder but um but uh i'm not anxious currently so i don't know what this is about it's not like i was projecting my own energy there but i feel someone is anxious now actually i feel this is a masculine energy someone that ha could have a dog this could be you guys where an animal is trying to comfort you your animal is very in tuned to your anxiety right now usually that's the case with me but not currently um but yeah, so um, let's see. This could be a masculine in your life if you're a feminine or if you're even if you're a masculine and you're asking for another masculine. Let's see what this anxiety is about. I feel like someone's afraid that someone's going to say something. Like, I feel like someone in your life is kind of paranoid that you have dish on them. That's what I'm hearing. Someone's afraid that they're making the wrong choice when it comes to relationship. Perhaps your masculine is settling down with someone else and they're, um, it, it's the illusion of everything's going great, but inside they're dying. Wow. Okay. Um, I feel like they really care about you and you really care about them. They're, um, there's a lot of emotions here. We have a three of swords and a queen of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys could be feeling heartbroken over a water sign but I feel this is more like um someone caring deeply about someone and also there being a strong emotional like intuitive connection here I also feel like they see you as like their nurturer this person and perhaps they don't have you in their life right now and they feel like they're missing out on that nurturance from you page of cups could be a Pisces you're dealing with this could be someone that's kind of like young spirited um they think of you fondly, I definitely feel, but I feel like they think you cut them off, like your love ran cold, I'm hearing. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could feel like you're just not interested anymore here. Um, I feel like it's forcing them to feel like they need to move on, but they don't really want to move on, is what I'm getting. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. and Yeah, see, that's exactly what I literally just said. So it's like, this is like someone who's about ready to take a journey, but it's not really like a fun thing. Like they don't want to be doing it. They're not really happy about it. In fact, it's more so like a burden for them. Um, they're trying to pick up the pieces and just move forward, but I feel they're really burdened. We have two pages. There could be a lot of immaturity here. It could be like this feminine. If this is you, you just got tired of the BS. Like you felt like this person was never stepping up to the plate. They were never getting their act together. They weren't on your level and you just felt like they weren't leveling up. So you kind of just cut your ties here with them. Interesting. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get some message cards, but I wanna use these two decks. So let's get um, one card from each here. What else does Capricorn need to know? I didn't even realize this is... All right. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure, okay? So right now you're in a situation where you are finding your power and maybe you've convinced yourself that you're not capable of doing certain things, but this is like 
you really being empowered, making bold moves, taking steps that in the past you maybe didn't think you were capable of, okay? So there's something about your strength. There's something about your power. I also feel like you may have a lot of power over this person um, more so than you think. You may, They may look at you as a lot stronger and a lot more capable than you even think, okay? I'm going to get at least one from here, maybe more than one. So I feel like your your strength has been tested a lot, and that could just be a lesson that you've been going through for a long time with being a Capricorn, but let's get... Home, okay, number 27. That's interesting. Um, I don't take Oracle cards reverse. So something about your home and the power that you have in your home or maybe to manifest the kind of home or the kind of family that you want. We did get that Ten of Cups. So let's get, we have a, a clock here. So this could be something about timing in your life. I feel like 27 could be significant for you. Protecting treasure, okay? So if you're just worried about like things in your home, know that your family, your loved ones are protected is what I'm hearing. But I also feel like you could feel really guarded. You could feel like, you don't want to let anyone into your home, to your sacred space, because you don't feel like you could trust anyone right now, okay? Then we have magical map shifter. You see, that kind of reminds me of the stepping into power. So, And there's a compass here. So um, I feel like you guys have a lot more say and a lot more power in situations than you feel like it right now. Number 52. All right. So let's see what your person... Actually, let's get a couple more energies about where you're at in your life. And we're going to use Messages of Love Oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. What other energies for Capricorn's fate? Twin Flame and Release. Okay, so this is confirmation that the person you're thinking of is perhaps your Twin Flame, however that resonates with you. Um, and perhaps it's time to release someone knowing that if they're meant for you, like, it's so cliche, but if if you love someone, let them go. If they're yours, they're always yours, right? And that's not exactly how the quote goes, but it's about trusting, radical acceptance and surrender. It's like knowing that there's other paths that you might need to take in between getting back with this person, or maybe there's other paths they need to take. And if they're immature, they have growing to do. And so that map shifter to me is like being flexible and being open to shifting your course, but knowing that you're never going to go off course because ultimately love will lead you back to mounts where you belong. One of these days, our love will lead you back. You guys are, you know what it is? You're facing this really, this lesson of the strength of your spirit to trust is what I'm hearing, okay? What does this person want to communicate to you? I have two decks here, both from um, All Things Intuitive, the Hidden Truth Oracle, and the Shadows deck. So your person right now, perhaps you're in separation. What do they want to say to you? I took the easy way out, okay? So they, they made a decision that just felt a lot less challenging for them, okay? Perhaps they chose someone over you, or perhaps they chose some path over you okay i hope you're happy i fantasize about you it was my fault but i blamed you i do think in their heart of hearts this person takes responsibility they may not have admitted this to you but they do still fantasize about you and they care about you i feel like they hold a flame for you i said that in a reading yesterday but i definitely think that still resonates. Okay, let's just get a couple more messages. This is from the Hidden Truth Oracle Volume 2. Your person that you're thinking of, what do they want to communicate to Capricorns? Someone in your life really felt like maybe walking away was the easy way out. I don't know what you want. Perhaps you gave them mixed signals at one point. Maybe they didn't trust that you really love them or I feel so happy with you. There's two things about happiness. So your smile and your happiness is really important to this person. And the memories and moments you guys shared together are very sacred to them. 
I don't want to let you go. I literally just, yep. And I don't know why this happened. There's a lot of questions here in this person's mind as to why it didn't work out. Even though they're saying I took the easy way out, it was my fault. I feel like they're still questioning your dynamic. They're still not understanding. Like they know you were significant to them, but they don't know why it all panned out like this. So um, let's get one final card from tarot about where their current energy is at. I feel the nine of swords is definitely them. It's like they're in their head a lot. It's causing a lot of anxiety. But let's just get one final card from the tarot about their current energy. If two come out, then I'll take two. But, all right. Your person's current energy. This passion, this fantasy could be dealing with a Leo. King of Wands is Sagittarius, Aries, or oh wow, divine masculine. We've got two twin flame energies coming through here. Um, this person is growing and maturing, so trust that whatever they're going through is actually making them a better person and it's making them have more confidence, which ultimately lead to, lead to them taking responsibility and coming forward and admitting that to you. Aries and possibly Aries as well, but also Sagittarius and Leo. You see the lion? All right, guys. And also we had strength for you and this is like strength for them. So you guys are both building your own strength. Thank you guys for being here. I love you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.